my name is Kelly and I'm one of the educators with Bywater Solutions and I have a short tutorial on batch item deletion. So there is always that possibility that you may need to batch delete a lot of items from your catalog and I'm going to show you that we have a tool called batch item deletion and this will be an easy way for you to go ahead and delete a lot of things at one time. Um, batch item deletion is found in the tools module so I'm going to go over to the tools module and it's actually in the center column. We have batch item deletion right at the top. So batch item deletion is, it looks similar to our batch item modification and there is a tutorial video also on that if you had wanted to look at that. Um, with the batch item deletion tool, you can either use a barcode file, an item number file, or you could go ahead and scan items one by one in this text box. I'm going to actually do the scan items one by one in the text box first and then I'm going to show you how, how easy it is to grab a barcode file of items that you might want to delete. So I don't have a scanner but I'm going to copy and paste a few barcodes right into this um, text box so just pretend I bar scanned those three for you and I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. So I can see I have three items that I scanned. I can see all three of them. I have this opportunity to just hide a few of the columns because it does go way over to the side. Um, if I wanted to get rid of um, maybe the damage status, the collection code, as I start to unclick these, they will, the screen will get, columns will get um, more visible on the screen. So here I have, I have these three items and they're all checked. If I decided, hey, whoops, I didn't mean to, to scan that one, I could always uncheck any of these. I have yet to complete the process of deleting yet. Um, this is a reminder, hey, this is going to delete those items. Now this is a really, really key part of the batch item deletion and this would eliminate one more step if you were to use this versus going one by one into each item and deleting it. Koha we will, if you check mark this box here, it will delete the bib records if no more items remain. So if this um, UFO crash at Roswell was the only item on that bib record, it would go ahead and delete the record for me as well, which would take away one more step I would have to do later. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes, let's go ahead and delete the records if no items remain and then I wouldn't have to have an empty bib record. Now if you didn't want to do that and you wanted to keep those empty bib records for, for if you were going to replace those items, you can go ahead and do that. But at this point I'm just going to keep that check marked and then I have that option delete selected items. And there I go. I have three items that were deleted and it does tell me I have two records deleted. So I do have one more record out there that has one item attached to it. So now I can go right back to my batch item deletion and now I'm going to show you how to use this barcode file feature. So if I go up to my advanced, no my item search, excuse me, my item search um, capability I can now grab things from a specific library or current location, shelving location, any item types, collection codes, and I can actually create a barcode file if I wanted to. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a um, item type, maybe that's games, and I'm going to say I would like that in that in a barcode file. I don't know if there's anything really in. Let's go with large print. Once I hit search, system is set up. I have a little pop-up that says how would you like to open this and I'm going to open that with text edit and say yep okay and here is my barcode file that I'm actually going to use in that batch item deletion so let's see probably don't want to delete this many so let's get rid of some of these and I'm going to save this to my desktop so I can always find it, close it out, and then I'm going to go back over to my tools, use that batch item deletion. I'm going to use a barcode file this time, hit browse, 
There's my barcode file. I'm gonna go ahead and hit open. And then just like before, I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. And now I can see I have all these that I could go through and look at. And again, I could go ahead and pick any that I don't want to actually um, delete. Once I get to the bottom, I get the same question. Um, so the same process, but you can, so now you know you can use it by that scanning the barcodes if you had a cart or you were in a certain section of your library. Um, or you can go ahead and do that item search and just save that um, barcode file um, to use in that batch item deletion. Thank you so much for watching. This tutorial is a production of Bywater Solutions. Have a great day.